Just as 2022 starts, we have some exciting tech coming up, but I think the first to make its debut is going to be, of course, the Samsung Galaxy S22. Hey guys, what's up? It's Tech Flash, and I have to say that the Galaxy S22 Ultra has almost fully been leaked. There have been rumors and pictures leaking back and forth, and we pretty much by now are about 99% certain of what the S22 Ultra is going to look like. In fact, the newly leaked official renders confirm that the phone is pretty much a note in every single way except for its name. Wider screen with more surfaces to write on? Yes. S Pen Silo? Yes. Flat top and bottom? Yep. Around back is a camera array that sticks closely to the layout from the S21 Ultra though. While I'm glad to see Samsung has found room for the sensors in a way that keeps the back of the device uniform, there's definitely something a little more bland about this design. It looks every bit like a Note 10 Plus or a Note 20 Ultra with a revamped camera system, but maybe that's exactly what some Samsung fans want. Real world shots of the S22 Ultra Ultra have also been leaked out and yet again it looks pretty great in black. Tipster Hype Park 22 has published images of the black variant of the Galaxy S22 Ultra on Twitter. While it's clear that these are images of dummy units of the smartphone, it's still great to have a look at the upcoming smartphone in its flesh. Samsung has completely moved away from the camera island-like design element, something that was introduced with the Galaxy S20 Ultra. The Galaxy S22 Ultra has squared off edges and a boxy look, making it a spiritual successor to the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. The phone has a larger, Super AMOLED Infinity O display with thin bezels, an S Pen with a built-in slot, and a USB Type-C port. The device has a matte finish on the rear which makes it resistant to fingerprints. Samsung is expected to launch the Galaxy S22 Ultra in black, burgundy, dark green, and white. Going by previous leaks and reports, the smartphone features a 6.8-inch display with 120Hz variable refresh rate, HDR10+, stereo speakers, and an IP68 rating for dust and and water resistance. Depending on the market, the phone features the Exynos 2200 or Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 processor. The South Korean firm has reportedly equipped its next generation flagship phone with a revised 108 megapixel primary camera that captures higher details thanks to its AI powered detail enhancement mode. It also features a 12 megapixel ultra wide camera, two 10 megapixel telephoto cameras, and a 40 megapixel selfie camera. The device is powered by a 5000 mAh battery and supports 45 watts fast charging. Whatever can help boost sales of the company's traditional phones is probably the right move at the moment. The company is happy to talk up the momentum of the foldables, but the S21 lineup reportedly disappointed in its retail performance, so they are heavily relying on the S22 to make a comeback. Based on past history, Samsung should announce the S22 family sometime maybe this month if we're lucky. If not, February is the usual go-to for the Galaxy S series launch. Anyways, that is it for the S22. Really excited to see what's coming up in the next few months, and this probably will be the last video that I make on the S22 for now, since we have pretty much a very clear projection of what's coming up most likely the next s22 video should be a hands-on review of the flagship if you guys enjoyed the video please drop a like and consider subscribing so you guys don't miss out on some very cool upcoming hands-on review videos thank you once again for watching i'll see you guys in the next one peace out